Hey everyone, Stephen here from Rattle Essence and welcome back to another fragrance review. Thank you so much for watching. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts on the newest fragrance by Calvin Klein. This one is for men and this one goes by the name of Calvin Klein Reveal. So here's the bottle, pretty cool looking bottle. It was released in February of 2015 and uh, this was a collaboration among four perfumers. The perfumers are Anne Gottlieb, Rodrigo Flores Rouge, May Pierre Julien, and Olivier Guillotine. Now Anne Gottlieb has done many if not all of the fragrances for the Axe brand. That's her darling or her baby if you will. And Rodrigo Flores Rouge has done many um, or a few I should say Tom Ford private blends. One of them the most notable of which being Neroli Portofino. Now I do want to mention that this is the men's version. There's also a woman's version on the market so please be cautious as a consumer if you're purchasing this online because the difference between the two is in the color of the juice inside as well as the cap. On the women's version the cap goes on diagonally, the men's goes on horizontally. Now this is classified as a woody aromatic and this is a fragrance that was composed for the intriguing man. So I'm gonna let you know what I think about this fragrance in a bit. Next up let's take a look at the presentation. So on the box here you can see this uh, rectangular square here up at the top which is kind of evocative of a mirror and of course it does coincide with the name reveal you know mirrors are revealing after all right so you have the name of the fragrance theme of the company at the bottom here you have the UPC code with the serial number ingredients on the back nothing on either side nor on the top as far as the bottle goes you also have this very um, you know mirror like cap you can actually see me and the camera in the reflection um, color of the juice is actually kinda like a light bluish color nothing on the back sticker at the bottom with some more information cap comes off the sprayer it works okay could be a little bit better the distribution could be better and that was it for the presentation for Calvin Klein's reveal now, despite the classification for this scent, Calvin Klein Reveal opens up with a very prominent sweetness. Right off the bat, this is a very sweet scent. It's not up there in terms of sweetness like with other fragrances like Angel Man by Terry Mugler or One Million by Paco Rabanne, but it's definitely up there. It kind of falls short a little bit, but nevertheless, there is a sweetness to it. And I think that's because it opens up with this note of agave. Now, agave is a plant that's used in the making of tequila. And believe it or not, there is also a boozy note that's a counterpart to the agave note in this fragrance. And that note is brandy. Now, of course, I'm not a brandy enthusiast. I'm not an uh, expert in the smell of brandy or anything like that but what I can say is that this one doesn't really come off boozy to me I mean I know there's the perfumers alcohol in the intro which kind of gives it the impression that it's gonna smell a little bit alcoholic but because of the sweetness in the scent it's less like a liquor more like a liqueur and there's also the note of brandy and there's the note of African horned melon which to me smells like any other melon that I've smelled in fragrances before so it could just be marketing as far as this one goes but there are some other sweet nuances like tonka bean which has an almond like nutty vanillic smell and there's also amber which to me is more of a vanillic amber now the sweetness will last for the entire uh, longevity of this fragrance it does tone down a little bit but in the base you st do start to get more of the tonka bean you also start to get more of the amber which like I said smells more vanillic now another note in here that I think is worthy of a mention is Haitian or poor now I think this is a new note if my research is correct and it's supposed to be a new molecule for vetiver now there's nothing particularly grassy about this scent but I do have to admit there is a green quality to it I don't know if it's because of the Haitian or poor or because of the clary sage note kind of giving it that herbal feel to it but there's one thing about this fragrance that did kind of disappoint me a little bit is that the smell to me even though it's unique and it's it is different and intriguing it's a very polarizing scent but in my opinion I don't think it's entirely new I don't think it's entirely novel and that's because it actually reminds me of another fragrance that I have in my collection. And that fragrance is Rogue by Beverly Hills Polo Club. Now, why does this kind of bother me a little bit? Because they both have that syrupy sweet scent right off the bat. Except this one cost me $5. And this one cost me almost 70 So what is there to justify the price difference between the two? So I think that... What they did is they took something that wasn't as popular or wasn't highlighted before in the designer realm of fragrances and they decided to do so in this fragrance, Calvin Klein Reveal. So I think that 
there isn't much to justify the price as far as the smell goes, but it is a very different and unique scent. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a good scent. So you may love it, you may hate it. I'm just saying this is one of those polarizing scents. And I'll be perfectly honest with you, I'm going to have to be in the mood to wear this one. Now there are some redeeming factors like the melon in combination with a little bit of salt. And there is a salting nuance when you start to smell it, although it does not smell aquatic. But I do think that the saltiness kind of opens it up, makes it a little bit more bright. Um, and I like that about the scent. But it is a little bit weird in the opening, so make sure you give this one a try before blind buying it. I also want to mention as far as compliments go that my fiance really likes this scent. I actually wore it today and she complimented me on it the moment she uh, first smelled me. So thanks for watching guys, last up we have the rating. First up we have uniqueness and overall smell and I'm going to go ahead and give this fragrance a 6 out of 10. Now there are a few things that really couldn't let me give this one a much higher score. One that it is a polarizing scent, not everyone is going to like it, I do have to admit to that. But two, I've smelled this before in a much cheaper fragrance. So to me, it's not, even though it is unique, I can't really find a way to justify the price for this one. But also, it really limits it in terms of what occasions this could be worn in. So for that reason, I did have to give it a 6 out of 10. Next up, we have longevity. I gave this one an 8 out of 10. I do get about 6 to 8 hours on my skin, which is above average for a Eau de Toilette. And as far as projection goes, I give this one a 7 out of 10. This one does project pretty well for the first couple hours, and then it starts to sit close to the skin but in the dry down I actually like the scent a little bit more because it becomes more of that vanillic amber. As far as versatility goes I ended up giving this one a 6 out of 10. I think this is more for playful scenarios. This could be worn casually but as far as the suit and tie scent goes I want to wear something with more woods, more citrus, something a little bit more refined. Also because of the sweetness I do think it's geared toward the younger crowd although despite the marketing and the classification I do think this one could be unisex and as far as seasons go I think I think this would work pretty well in the spring and maybe in the fall those intermediary seasons. I think in the dead of summer it wouldn't do too well also because of the performance or lack thereof I don't think it would do too well in the winter as well. Last up as far as presentation goes I'm gonna give this one a 7 out of 10. I like the whole mirrored look on both the box and the bottle although it's a little bit unclear what it's supposed to represent although it does coincide with the name of the fragrance. So overall I'm gonna have to give Cla Calvin Klein reveal a 6 out of 10. Now, I do like this scent, but this is a scent that I have to be in the mood to wear. It's a different scent. You got that thick, syrupy, you know, herbal green kind of smell going on in here. So it's different, it's unique, you know, but it's not going to appeal to everyone's taste. So please make sure you try this before you buy it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. That was my review on Reveal by Calvin Klein. If you own or have tried this scent, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to rate and subscribe for future videos and frequent giveaways. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Steven with another fragrance review from Red Essence. I'll see you guys soon.